All right, in this video, I just want to do an example of finding the midpoint between two points. And the basic idea is if you want to find the midpoint between x1, y1 and some other point, x2, y2, we basically add the x coordinates together, divide by 2, add the y coordinates together, divide by 2. So again, all the midpoint is, if we're going from point A to point B, the midpoint would just be that point um, that's exactly um, in between the two. It's equidistant uh, from those two points um, along the straight line between A and B. Okay, so there's lots of points that are equidistant from A B, but we need again the one on the straight line between them. So okay, determine the midpoint of the two points: two thirds, comma one fourth, and eleven over six, comma seven over nine. You know it. Uh, wonderful numbers, a bunch of fractions. Oh, Patrick, why are you doing it to us? Um, so, okay, so basically it says to find the midpoint of the two points, we have to take two-thirds. We add to that the other x-coordinate, which is 11 sixths, and then we divide all of that by two. To get the midpoint in regards to the y-coordinates, again, we just take one-fourth here. We'll add to that seven over nine, and again, we divide all that by two. Okay, so technically that's the midpoint. Um, obviously, we're going to want to simplify this a little bit, try to clean it up. Alrighty, so so for the first one, let's see, we've got two thirds. I believe I could multiply the top and bottom of the two thirds just by two to get my common denominator of a six. So we would have uh, four over six. Let me make my uh, let's rewrite this all together, how about that? So we would have 4 over 6 plus 11 over 6, again all that divided by 2, comma. So for our other fraction to get common denominators, I think for the first fraction we're just going to have to multiply the top and bottom by 9. Uh, for the other fraction we'll just have to multiply the top and bottom by 4. So let's see, it looks like we would get 9 over 36, plus it looks like 28 um, over 36 when we multiply. Again, all that divided by 2. Let's see, so if we do the arithmetic, 4 6 plus 11 6 would be 15 over 6. Again, all divided by 2. Uh, let's see, 9 plus 28, that would be, I believe, uh, how about 37 over 36. Again, all divided by 2. So remember what we can do at this point is we can write 2 as a fraction, 2 over 1 and 2 over 1. And remember to divide a fraction by a fraction, we leave the top fraction alone, but then we flip and multiply. So we could multiply by 1 half if I flip and multiply. And then for the second one, we'll have 37 over 36, again, times 1 over 2. Um, and again, to multiply, we just multiply across the top and across the bottom. Typically, I would try to see if anything kind of cancels out, but I don't see anything that will cancel in my, my, uh, my 15 over 6 times 1 half. Likewise, I don't see anything that's going to cancel out um, you know, in the second coordinate. So I'm just going to multiply them out. So the numerator, so the midpoint, we would get 15 on top, 12 on the bottom. That would be our x coordinate. And then we would have 37 times 1 over uh, 36 times 2, which is going to be 72. And now we found the midpoint of, our, of, the, of the original two points.